Hello there. Happy Easter celebrations. My name is Ruman Daniels and I bring you lovely greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, the Risen King. I just want to give you a quick word of encouragement and I trust that it will be useful for you. In the last couple of short videos like this, I have been encouraging, you know, that we speak faith-filled words and that we you know have faith at this time over fear one of the things that happens when we speak faith-filled words is that we keep building our faith uh, it is written in the holy book this word this book of the lord shall not depart out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate on it day and night and of course you observe to do what is in it one of the observations we need to do that is in it is that we need to keep confessing confessing and confessing we need to speak the word of truth the word of grace over our lives and our family every time at this time without exemptions remember a few days ago we brought you know into our, our, our consciousness the, the the confessions of the Shunammite woman after she lost her only child she said to her husband all is well and went on to the prophet and said all is well you know and that was in the middle of being aware that she had lost her only child please i just want to remind you that we continue in that stead it is written that with our heart we believe unto righteousness but with our mouth we confess unto salvation salvation is deliverance is healing you know is 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 abundance don't be moved by what you're saying yeah so just yesterday i got to see a very very you know ridiculous data coming out of united states of 17 million people who had lost jobs in just three weeks that was scary if the greatest nation on earth is having such figures some of us will be wondering what is the future where are we after now do we have jobs can we pay the bills will there be something to do after now so yes there's a lot that can command worry but in the place of worry lift up the law of faith by confessing abundance by confessing abundance all right by confessing abundance i want you to check this out and please um, I, I don't just speak prosperity to the sake of it. I speak it because it is written. All right, Second Corinthians chapter eight verse nine. All right, it is written there that Jesus Christ, you know, came down and took our place in poverty. He says he became poor for us that we might become rich in him. I, I don't know if you saw that. That that's very very huge right there. And honestly speaking. I, I believe very strongly that this is important for us at this time that we should speak the abundance of God remember God's people walked through the wilderness for 40 years they didn't change their clothes they didn't buy new ones they didn't go to Jumia to buy new clothes all right their shoes did not get worn out all right and God had supernatural supplies for them this is a time to decree that declare that if you are a covenant child and even if you are not please come into that place where you understand that god's love is for all of us and that he hears us and he's pleased when we speak you know faith-filled words he spoke to moses his servant he says go back and tell the children of israel that whatever they say with their mouth that will i do so what will you rather be saying now will you be saying that we are doomed of the virus and that the economy of the land will kill us we are poor will you be saying that or will you be saying that we are abundant i'm not just saying it but you need to say it from the depths of your heart you say it until you believe it that's auto suggestion you speak faith with words even when you don't feel like it even when you feel sick speak the fact that by his stripes you are healed and this is the easter you know encouragement i have for you on this lovely easter celebration that we declare faith filled words and as we do that we enjoy supernatural help from God. Thank you for listening to this and thank you for putting this into practice. 
God bless you. Do have an amazing week ahead of you. Maybe a fruitful one. Bye-bye.